Welcome to the Finding Words in Hard Times podcast, the pilot. Um, we'll have stories and tools to help you be more comfortable as you help others in hard times. My name is John Swanson. I'm a hospital chaplain, a writer, and a teacher. Each time I talk with someone following the death of a loved one, um, I listen to their pain, listen to their silence, I listen, and then eventually, gradually, uh, I offer some thoughts that respond to their loss in this moment. Because I'm a hospital chaplain. I've had a few hundred opportunities to listen and think and respond to parents and children and spouses and partners and siblings and friends. I've also walked through loss as a son, as a father, as a grandfather, as a brother-in-law, as a friend. I've been on your side of the bed in those moments with my parents and our daughter. And I've found that some thoughts, some words seem to be helpful for more than one person. And so a couple of years ago, I gathered those thoughts into a book. Uh, I called it, This is Hard, What I Say When Loved One Dies, Loved Ones Die. At the hospital where I work, uh, we started putting it in grief packets that go to the next of kin. Uh, and I made them available for sale, um, and I've given copies away, and there are now a few thousand um, that are available in the world. It wasn't really a book to read through. Uh, I wouldn't say all of those things at once. It's more like a conversation where you can bring a question, read it, um, set the book aside, read it again, um, toss it across the room, read it again, write in it, reread it. Um, test some of those thoughts in helping other people. The stories that I have heard have suggested that it's a helpful resource. Um, on December 7th, 2023, um, after a run, I asked this question on Instagram and Facebook. What if I took some of the statements from This Is Hard and I did about a six episode podcast Expanding on those statements um, and chapters, there'd be a little more explanation, some illustration, um, and each one would be between 12 and 15 minutes. Um, would you be interested in listening? Within a couple of minutes, a friend responded, and some other friends from different parts of my life, and each of them bringing stories of loss that I knew. As I thought about the yeses and I thought about how much I care about each of those people, I knew that I needed to start this project, an opportunity to add my voice to the words that are on the page. So in the Finding Words in Hard Time podcast, uh, we're going to cover material from This is Hard, but it's not going to be a podcast just about death or just about grief. Um, what I'm thinking is that across time, it's going to be like a course in how to be helpful to people in really hard moments. There's going to be a lot that relates to grief uh, because those are some really hard moments in people's lives. Um, my hope is that in each episode, it's going to be like a conversation, sometimes giving us support, sometimes giving us encouragement, sometimes giving us direction, um, sometimes giving us stories, help, hope. Sometimes it's going to include conversations because I've got some friends that are pretty remarkable in their capacity to be, capacity to be thoughtful and helpful um, and to help me think as well. My plan is to start publishing episodes uh, as audio files in mid-January of 2024. Uh, between now and then, I'll be planning and recording and editing and getting ready to be helpful in this way. If you have comments or you have questions or you have suggestions um, or you have support, um, I would love it if you would email me at jon.swanson at socialmediachaplain.com. Um, there have been a number of things that I've worked on during 2023, uh, a couple of um, college courses that I've taught, um, starting to write uh, at thisishard.substack.com, um, doing some other kinds of things like that, um, that suggest to me that 
this could be a really helpful resource for you and for me. So that's my goal. Again, um, if you get any response, jon.swanson at socialmediachaplain.com. Um, and I'm looking forward to taking the next steps in this project with you. Thanks for following along and for being encouraging.